I know we really don't do printed meeting agendas much anymore. A lot of us are working remote or virtual, and I'm totally down with saving the trees. However, remember that having an agenda for your meetings is still very necessary. Let's discuss why. Look, too many meetings are either boring, unproductive, and a waste of time because the organizer had no plan. They did not think through the meeting purpose, main points of discussion, and action items. That's where a good agenda and minutes come in. Together, let's learn how to make a better plan. I have a free agenda template that you can download at ginanaren.com slash agenda. Find the link in the description below. In fact, this template is the best meeting planning tool because if you can fill out the whole template, you can be reasonably sure you first of all will not waste everyone's time and you will get what you need from the people in the room or the virtual room. Making an agenda forces you to think through what you need to accomplish, who you need to coordinate with, what actions need to be done before you meet, logistics like where, how, and what tools you will use to meet. And remember, if you don't have enough material to fill out this template, maybe you shouldn't be having a meeting at all. By the way, a link to this mug is also in the description. Starting at the top of the agenda, fill out the meeting title and date. Then head down to the attendees block. If this is a large meeting, just recognize the principles of your organization that are attending. Think about C-level people, critical team leads, and those type of people. For smaller meetings, include everyone's name. This tool is helpful to show and prove good collaboration later, and on the negative side can possibly show if someone consistently did not attend, which could also help you as a project manager. Next to each name, we have initials, which serve as a legend later when we fill in the minutes portion. You can also use the initials to mark who will be speaking on each meeting topic to promote even more engagement. In the next block, we have the meeting purpose. This is probably the most important line of the agenda. Your purpose informs everything else. Really think about why you are getting people together and what you need from them. Under that is the meeting location and connection information. If everyone in the meeting is from the same organization, this little line might not be so important and you might be able to skip it since most people will know where or how you typically meet. However, if you are gathering people from outside of your organization especially, this line just became really important. Help them out by clearly outlining all connection information so that if they have this agenda sheet, they have everything they need. Moving down to the agenda items, note that the first column going down the left is just auto-numbered. Helpful when people have questions. They can say, I'm referring to your note in item 4. Then we have the short names of the agenda items in the next column. This gives your team an easy way to find each topic. The next column, details, is really where the money is. You have three main criteria for details here. What will engage the team in necessary discussion, what will inform the team of key facts they need to know, and what will facilitate a key decision or outcome that will help you meet your meeting purpose. So, as you look over these details in the example, Pay close attention to the fact that these details are succinct, quantifiable wherever possible, and factual. Once you have this much filled out, send it out as a read ahead to your meeting attendees. During the meeting, this agenda can even be used as a visual. You can appoint a scribe or take notes yourself. As you fill in the minutes, start with the initials of the person doing the speaking, giving the input, or making the decision. Then follow the initials with a few words summarizing their input. At the very bottom, fill in assignments and action items with owners and due dates so everyone knows who is responsible for what. This little accountability tool is a big help, especially for your busier team members. Once you have filled in the minutes and action items, save the file and distribute it to your team so everyone has a succinct, accurate record of your meeting outcomes. 
Remember, you can find this agenda package with both a blank template and filled in examples on ginanaron.com slash agenda. Link is in the description. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I wish you many fruitful meeting collaborations in your days ahead. If you like this video, check out my other videos on Microsoft Word tutorials and other advice for young career pros. And as always, I super appreciate the like and the subscribe. Have a great day. Remember to always keep learning and always keep sharing.